I think the life of self-isolation is sort of now a little appetizer for everybody who's doing it of what the life of an astronaut is actually like. You wake up, you spend your entire day and you go to bed all within the confines of the same walls. That's not normal for most people. There is a prevalent surrounding danger and a threat to your existence. That's not normal. People normally don't feel that way. The people that you are with are not about to change. They are who they are. And, and you need to build a crew from those people. So maybe shift your own perception. Stop thinking of yourself as someone who is cooped up and trapped at home with people you wouldn't normally spend time with. And instead say, I have a crew, I have a spaceship, I have a, we have a common purpose and a common enemy, and we need to adjust what's happening to emerge out of this victorious. And that's how we work on a spaceship. We do well as human beings with, with a pattern. Uh, and, and so give yourself that. On a spaceship, you've got mission control telling you what to do every, down to five minute increments. Start breaking your day up into chunks. You know, okay, from nine to 11, I'm gonna do this. I, I've gotta do this from 12 till one. I've gotta do this at 7 a.m., whatever. And uh, you come in at the end of the day with a little bit of self pride. And I think that helps. Don't try and just import an unsuitable pattern into a different set of circumstances and expect it to work like normal. You, you have to make some adjustments. Most of the adjustments start with yourself. And that's true for spaceship crews as well. Some crews do not naturally get along. They're not people that would normally be friends, but they find a way to, to fly one of the most dangerous vehicles in the world, dock with a space station and stay there for six months and be productive. We ban some uh, types of fish on the space station just as it stinks so bad and nobody else can hide from, from the smell. So think about your own actions, but also allow other people to have their own room. You've got to get through this together. There is a very clear common purpose to this, and that is to not let the rapid onset of COVID overwhelm our medical system. And I think having that sense of purpose is really important in order to maintain your psychological well-being. How do you stay productive and psychologically healthy uh, in amongst a great disruption and kind of a, a feeling of, of derailed helplessness. And, and I think it's important to focus on that, that common purpose for being there. You need to uh, find a way to just accept this new normal and, and, and find a way to stay healthy during it. On a spaceship, we exercise two hours a day and, and you don't go outside to exercise. You know, you just use equipment in there. You don't need to go to a gym to stay in shape. Just do some jumping jacks while you're watching a Netflix. You know, if you do jumping jacks for 30 minutes, that'll be good for your heart and your bones. Just do 15 push-ups before every shower, or, or just pick up some, pick up two cans of beans and just push them up above your head. You know, while you're sitting there relaxing. When you come back to Earth at the end of this particular mission, you want to have a healthy, strong body. Uh, you don't want to emerge from your hibernation cave looking more like a polar bear than you ought to. People have been talking a lot about Mars and, and, you know, should we settle Mars and what's it going to be like for the first astronauts on Mars? Everybody's getting a little taste right now, just how isolated it would be to be part of that crew that lands on Mars. You might want to rethink whether you want to be that first Martian astronaut or not. Have a look at that habitat. Think about the reality of it based on your recent experience and then maybe, uh, maybe decide if you want to be uh, the first person on Mars or not.